Finally, I am going to show the entire uniform, rather than me sitting in a, a chair where it can't be seen. In this small corner of my room here, I have attached the saber. And this is the entire thing. Saber tash with the uh, Toddenkopf. Lovely Busby. The police. Over the shoulder. <laughs> the cap lines. Up here. Dragging themselves down. So this is the entire thing in, in all its glory. It's a very comfortable uniform to wear. The Busby is not heavy. It's made of wire. Feathers wrapped around it. Quite a bit lighter than the... Uh, if it was made out of bare skin where it's supposed to be. Um, oh, here's something interesting. Now, these sabers. The way all unit types were, not just his sabers, were with the uh, two straps joined onto rings. Now, while an officer or whatever trooper who has a saber is walking around, they might sort of have them hooked up like this. But most of the time, uh, hussars especially, are on horses. So they have them dangling down by these two straps. And you think, well, they would only ever do that when they're on horses. Because that would get in their way when they're walking. But in actual fact, that's not the case. It was, it became very popular for hussars, or most troop types who, who were cavalry troopers, or even um, some infantry troops who also, uh, officers especially, who also had uh, swords dangling from these uh, cavalry style straps because the cavalry was very popular and they were very influential and officers of um, infantry units would uh, copy what was popular there. Well, when they were walking around in, in town trying to attract the ladies, uh, they would have their swords dangling and they would drag on the ground. I've got this one, uh, the back strap here, uh, a bit shorter so the sword sort of hangs like this. I don't know if that can even be seen in the frame, but yeah, it hangs like this. But they would have it so long that the end of the sword would drag on the ground. And that's what this uh, guard on the end of the scab is known as, known as the drag. I know there were some other names for it, but in... Britain, this was this was called a drag because the sword literally dragged on the ground, and you'll see examples of scabbards with the a hole in the bottom, or at least the, the base of the scabbard worn down to almost nothing because it used to be used to drag around like that, and uh, officers would um, see it as a status thing, or as a, a smarter sort of thing to. To literally drag their swords as they were walking behind them. Um, it became so popular to do that that uh, they, um, a certain thing was designed called tricks, which was small wheels on the end of the scabbard so the swords could drag along without the scabbards being damaged. So yeah, that was quite a silly thing. Um, and this is, this is my uniform and me standing. And I don't know if this is all in frame because I'm probably not far enough back from the camera, but anyway, that's what the whole thing looks like.